Hello everybody, this is Banana Cake, and in this tutorial we're just going to learn about sound design for filmmaking. In the last tutorial we created the screenplay for our movie project, and in this tutorial we're going to read through it and just kind of figure out what sound effects we may need for our project. This video might be a little long, but I'm going to try my best to get through it fast and not leave anything out. I'll also be showing you guys the resources I use to find my sound effects and music for my projects. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the script that I made in the previous video. Okay. I'm going to scroll down to the first page. So a lot of people wait till the editing process to find their sound effects. But I just think it's a little easier to uh, read the script and figure out what sounds you need before you go to edit it. That way you have a lot of things on hand and you're not having to switch back and forth between finding sound effects and editing. So the first sound that I see in the script is the only sound that fills the house is the broken faucet from the kitchen. So I'll just go and pull up my web browser. And I already have these uh, two resources I use popped up. Um, one is YouTube. You go to Creator Studio, you go to the Create tab, and you have a wide range of sound effects and free music at your fingertips for free. My cat's about to jump on my keyboard, and I might slap it across the room. But you can go ahead and listen to some of these and get a feel for uh, some of the quality of their sound effects. And you can always search for what you want or go to categories and uh, find anything you need. Um, I can go straight to water. And kitchen sink. Which I probably wouldn't use that because that kitchen sink is leaking bad. Um, if I don't find what I'm looking for here, I'll just go to the second resource I go to, which is uh, soundbible.com. And I can just go to the search in this and just put water drip. Wow, they got one. But, well, that's like, ugh. I wouldn't use that, but, you know, you can find a lot here, too, and this is usually uh, one that I go to, too. But usually I find what I'm looking for on YouTube. They have a lot of different uh, sound effects for you to use. So I'll let you decide what you want to use and how do you how you go about finding your uh, sounds. And I'll just go ahead and exit out of these. I've actually found all the sound effects that I do like using those two resources. And one thing I want to talk about is this answering machine. Hello, this is Banana Cake. Please leave a message. I'm probably just going to uh, show you how to um, make something sound like a phone on the Audacity that we downloaded. Okay, so once you got your sound effects ready, just go ahead and open up Audacity. And I'm just going to kind of mess around with one of the sound effects that I got for my project. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Open. I'm going to go to the creaking door that I downloaded from YouTube. Just push OK. Now when I play this, it sounds like this. Sounds pretty creepy. Sounds like uh, somebody really needs to uh, fix the hinges on that door. But we're going to kind of change this and manipulate it a little bit just to make it kind of sound better. So when you want to add effects to your uh, sounds, just go to Effect. And it'll come up with a long list of things that you can use. I'm going to go to Reverb just to kind of put an echo on this sound and make it more hollowed out. So... There's a lot of parameters you can change. Uh, you can mess around with these and see what you like. I'm just going to go right down here to the presets. And you'll have a few to choose from. Uh, and I'm just going to choose a medium room. And push OK. So it's going to convert to uh, it's going to convert to that preset. And I can just push OK. And now it sounds like this. So I like that a lot better than the uh, the original, but it's not exactly where I want it. I kind of want more of the more base of the door to come through. So I'm going to go back up to Effect, and I'm going to click Equalization, and I'll go to Flatten. This is sh this should be what you see uh, when you open it up, 
And uh, I'm going to try to explain this real quick. So the bottom half of this line is going to be your bass. Uh, bass, bass part of the frequencies on your sound. The mids are going to be the mid frequencies, and then the high is going to be the high frequencies. So you can think of it kind of like music. You got kick drums that are going to be down in this region, and then you've got the snares that are going to be in the mid region. Then you got hi hats that are really high pitch that are going to be in the higher region. So if I want some of the bass to come through, rule of thumb, I've uh, I've heard not to actually bring this line up. So if I wanted some of this to come through, I'd bring the highs down. So I'm going to right click about right here. Then I'll right click down here. Then I'll left click just to drag this down to bring some of this highs down a little bit. maybe bring this over a little bit and let's preview that now and I feel like that's pretty good so I'll just push OK and then once this is where you want it which I feel like this is where I want this sound to be I'm just gonna play it make sure and then just go to file go to export export audio and then uh, I've already created a wave file inside of my sound effects folder and uh, I've already saved this so just save it something you'll remember and then go to cancel or go ahead and save it so the next sound I'm going to show you how I create is going to be the answering machine uh, saying hello this is banana cake please leave a message I'm going to be recording this dialogue through my microphone and uh, putting the effects on it to make it sound like a answering machine would. So, I've already opened up a new project here. And when you want to record sounds through Audacity, you're just going to create or uh, push this red button and it will start to record for you. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Hello, this is Banana Cake. Please leave a message after the beep. Okay, so my my microphone records in one slot, and if your uh, microphone's doing this, just go to Audio Track and go to Split Stereo to Mono, and then just delete this one. So now we just have this one layer. Hello, this is Banana Cake. Please leave a message after the beep. Perfect. Okay, maybe not perfect, but it's something. Okay, so same same deal with this. We're going to go to Effect. And the same thing that we used on the door to take out the frequencies, we're going to go to Equalization. And they have a... Right next to Select Curve, you can go to... You can click this box and it comes down. And uh, you can actually go to Telephone, Walkie Talkie. Uh, I'm just going to try Telephone. And it's going to go ahead and convert that for you. And I can go ahead and preview this. Hello, this is Banana Cake. Please leave a message after the beep. And I like that pretty good, so I'm just going to push OK. So the next thing I would do is just kind of clean clean this up a little bit. And uh, left click and drag the end of this and push the delete key. And same thing with the front of this. That way, right when you play it, it's the sound effect and it ends right at the end of me talking. So I can go ahead and play this. Hello, this is Banana Cake. Please leave a message after the beep. So I like that pretty good, so I'm just going to go go ahead and go to File, Export Audio, and just put Answering Machine. I really hope you liked this tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you want to keep updated with this tutorial series, just uh, subscribe to me, and I hope to see you there.